Some of the transactions we've seen recently have been at comparatively low yields. What's your view on the, the market dynamics behind those yields? I think it demonstrates the weight of money in the marketplace at this point in time, Mark. There is significant funds available for investment into long income, long dated stock with inflation proofed uplifts. Much of the activity would focus on that. In other sectors, I think once again in the Edinburgh offices sector, we've seen a significant hardening of yields and increase in pricing. And that, I think, has been driven by the willingness of institutions to participate in the market and also the perception that rental growth is coming through that sector. In other sectors, such as industrial, we've seen again a hardening in yields, really as a direct result of the weight of money that is from the sophisticated, informed industrial investors seeking product. As we reach the end of a strong 2018 and move into 2019, what are your views on the prospects for the investment market? I remain quietly confident. I would say, Mark, read the prospects for the Scottish investment market, principally because the message I'm getting from occupational colleagues is that demand remains relatively robust. Um, there is a scarcity of product in the marketplace, and I suspect that that will maintain pricing at its present sort of levels at this time. I suspect that the market in terms of activity will tail off as we reach the end of 2018 and the first quarter of 2019. But I do wonder if some may look back at missed opportunities during that period as the market starts to become more active and busier towards the middle part of the year.